it's Wolfie Chan, and I'm back with another manga review. But wait, don't forget to subscribe that big red button. Subscribe, do it now. I am back with another new manga, and this one is Blue Flag. This puppy is thick, and let me tell you, it is a lot. I started reading about the first two chapters of this and didn't think. I was really gonna like it. The first two chapters are a slow burn. This is a very slow burn manga. But after I got about halfway through, I ended up falling in love with this as well. I didn't think I would because once again, slow burns are not my style. I do like a bit fast paced manga, but something about this one and the story it tells makes me think that even though it's a thick boy, oh it's thick, even though it is, that this story is worth a read to really anybody. This has a lot of chapters out already, or a lot of volumes, and I'm thinking about maybe getting a bit more. This story is about our main character, Takachi. And Takachi just got into a new, I believe it's third year of high school? I believe so. This is his third year of high school. He's only got one more left. And he's in a classroom with his old time best friend, Toma. Well, Toma is, of course, like really into sports, really tall, really this or that, really strong. Is everyone's kind of go to favorite friend. So Takachi has kind of pulled his way out of it and let Toma have all that. Well, Toma still wants to be friends with him. That's when we get a glance at Futubara. Futubara is a shy girl who ends up, you know, falling for Toma and asks Takachi for help in her shy, coy way. She trips a lot and reminds Takachi a lot of himself. That's why he doesn't like her. Not a good friend to her. Nothing. Well, after talking with her for a bit and starting to set up stuff with Toma, she asked the question, like, if I should do something with my hair, and he says off the shoulder, very off the shoulder, that if you cut your hair short, that maybe he'd enjoy it. You know, that would be a shock. If you changed your hair that much, that would be really, really shocking. A lot of girls take it literally, and Futabara takes it very literally, and ends up cutting her hair very, very short. And because of that, you know, he, it's kind of like a gets blamed for it almost. Toma thinks it's really cool that she has short hair, but he kind of gets, he thinks he's getting pushed that I cut my hair because of you, not thinking it as a compliment. In fact, in the very beginning, they did these battle pencils. And it was cute because they had a bonding experience and did the battle pencils and it was cute. And after taking some advice, she cuts her hair. He gets frustrated because that's not what he meant. Even though it was a big shock, he didn't mean it as cut your hair. Uh, so they end up coming up with a scheme about going to the same movie with both of their friends and hanging out together. It kind of goes south when she brings her friend to go to the movie and they're both Takachi and Futabara are not good with scary movies. But they end up going and of course America cinemas don't have it but they have you know like a little you can buy stuff from the movie in Japan, just right there. You know how much I'd love that in America? Like, oh, the Avengers Endgame happened! I would love a keychain from it! You can only get it from this theater! Woo! Now, America's like, you saw the movie, right? Go, go to a store and get it. But they go to the gift shop and Tachi or Tai Chi gets her friend to come with them to get drinks. He also, before that, kind of tells Fujibara what 
Toma's type is. And it's basically kind of his stepsister, or technically his sister-in-law, with his brother. While Toma's family all died, and his brother is technically like somebody who adopted him from the family. And Tai Chi has been there helping Toma do everything. So he knows him the best through everything and helps him get along and everything. Well, in the gift shop, Toma says something about getting these cute little fish keychains and says that Fujibara and Tai Chi look adorable together as a couple. So you must love him. And Fujibara gets kind of off kilter because she likes Toma. Well, the friend with Tai Chi is like, if you hurt her or make her lose her grades or anything like that, I will hurt you. And he, of course, is like, this was what she wanted. She asked me, I didn't want anything to do with this. It's your friend's fault. This is not me. He ends up running home and going home alone. And Toma tries his best. Well, he doesn't go home alone. He basically ends up... Toma follows him, asks him a whole bunch of questions, and he helps Toma's technically step... or Toma's sister to bring groceries home because Tai Chi hasn't been to their home in a while. And of course is like, hey, I'll cook you all meals, yada yada. And Tai Chi just doesn't feel great about any of it. He doesn't like it, anything. He ends up running home, really sad and everything. It doesn't reply to Fujiba after a while. And then they end up, you know, coming together and still being friends. Except Toma is not a fan of uh, what the friend did, making him really upset and not having Fujiba as a friend. While well, they go up to the rooftop and, spoilers, she asks him, is your type, your type's not anything but the black hair, isn't it? And you're in love with Tai Chi, right? And it, it blows him back. It really does, because yes, he's had feelings. Because the friend of Futaba has feelings for Futaba. And that's how this gigantic manga ends. On the cliffhanger that their best friends, Tai Chi and Futaba, their friends are in love with them and they've never admitted it to their friends. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's going to be a big square with little triangles in the center of Tai Chi, maybe at the very end of this whole series, ends up I'm going to also predict that it's maybe in the middle that Toma admits that he has feelings for Tai Chi. And Futaba and her friend, it's going to take a little bit more for her to admit the feelings to Futaba. But they end up doing that. And either Futaba and Tai Chi do end up getting together, or it ruins Tai Chi and Toma's friendship. And Futaba doesn't know how to feel in the end with her friend, but are still friends. I don't know how Tai Chi's gonna take getting admitted like my best friend likes me, but I don't like him in the same way. I don't know. But this, after reading it all, really got me. And I really recommend this one if you kind of like weird love square triangle things on who actually likes who, who wants to be with who, and a story of high school life in kind of a normal perspective. I didn't know if I was going to like this. Kept reading it to the end and found out I do. This is going to be one of the worst that I'm probably going to keep reading them even with how thick they are. Like, ooh. But this is really awesome. And Blue Flag, I recommend it for complicatedness and slow burns. If you like slow burns, I recommend this one. So, 
If you like this, definitely like, leave it in the comment section below. Have you read Blue Flag? Who's your char char favorite character and why? With a good old explanation. As you can tell by how thick this boy is, I like to read. And definitely don't forget to subscribe that big red button for more anime, manga, something new, something old, something different in the future. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter or Facebook for more. I hope that you've been having a very wonderful day. Wolfie Chan out. Bye.